Hey guys, welcome back. So, today you probably noticed two things. One is this giant tic-tac-toe board in front of me, which we'll get to in a second. And two, that I'm recording at a much higher quality now, thanks to Notch's awesome coding in the pre-release 5 1.9. So yeah, let's go back to this tic-tac-toe board. That's me the focus of this video. But, this is the same as every other tic-tac-toe board has, how it works. Only, it's a little different in size-wise, because it's only 10 blocks thick, and that's pretty awesome for tic-tac-toe. The reason why it's like this is because I put all the wiring underneath it in the front and I'm using pistons with sand to send the, send the input up really fast instead of using torches that's much slower and it ruins like the response time and all that. But counting it from here to the end point over there, it's only 22 blocks wide which is still pretty awesome. And yeah, I figured I'd show this off to you guys. So basically it has all the same features with the turn indicator, the reset button, I even made a smaller UI now, it's only 3x3 instead of 5x5, and it still has turn protection. So basically, if you wanted to go somewhere, you just click the button that corresponds to the, the box, and a piston X or O will pop up. Each one of these grids is a 3x3 piston display, they're pretty cool, and yeah. It's pretty simple to use and all that, so if you like it, you can give it a download. And let's go talk about how it works. So, basically... Everything is separated from right here, those three three buttons, three 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 inputs. And they all travel down into this area. Let me just fly. Now, oops, it's a little different in the wiring, so you have to organize everything correctly, because this top part right here does the bottom, then the middle does the middle row, and the very bottom does the very top. And the reason why I did that is because it's much easier to wire this way, and if I didn't, it would probably be like 13 blocks thick, and I wanted to go as thin as possible. So basically, say you press the bottom middle button, as the input would be sent through right here, which it already is on, and that's why this piston is retracted. But say if it wasn't, it would look something like this. Now, the input would travel through and up to this repeater right here, which it then would set off this torch right here, which will turn on one of these two block I mean torches. This is not my relay design, I copied it because I was looking for a really compact one and it is pretty amazing. And then after that, it gets sent through these two RS NOR latches. Now, one of these will be locked and because of that, it will set off one of these pistons which then pushes up the signal to up here. And if it's um, an X, I believe, it, it would send the signal through this wire and the X torch and pistons would pop up. And if it was an O, it would pop up a torch, right? I mean, uh, sorry, a piece of sand right here and send the signal through that. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's really simple to understand, basically. To reset it, all you do is the signal would pass through here. It would split into three rows for each three. And then it will turn off this torch, which turns on all these torches, turning every single RS nor back to neutral. And, yeah. Now, this part I'm about to show you has nothing related to the tic-tac-toe, so if you want to stop watching, you can. But, I don't know how many people know this, but it's not really worth making a video. But, instead of making your staircases for your redstone coming down like this, and having to have it break to like that, just put a block right above the wiring where it would normally go, and you can instantly make it go an extra 15 blocks without having to do anything special for your repeater. But yeah, that's a little off-topic, I know, but... I just wanted to fit that into this video, so yeah. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching, and you guys should definitely stay tuned for more. So, see you next time.